Hey, how's it going? Today I'm going to go over how to draw an Among Us character with a balloon hat. A balloon hat, alright? Uh, it's going to be real simple, easy, for beginners, so if you're a total beginner, you're gonna, you will be able to do this all the way through. Super easy, okay? So, I'm going to be using this. This is a Crayola brand marker, and paper-wise, I'm using printer paper. Uh, you can use whatever you want. I'm going to have a supply list that I recommend in the description. Um, like, sometimes I use uh, another marker here. Uh, I mean, that's the stuff I recommend. Also, this stuff is good too. You can use whatever you want though, okay? So don't worry about it. I use this because I think it's very uh, easy to get for everybody, um, but okay, let's get going. First thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna throw a curved line for the top of the head. I'm making sure to leave some room up here because there's gonna be a balloon up there, but right now I'm just doing the top of the, the crewmate's head down so it's kind of the front of his forehead a little bit just pulling down a bit and pull down a bit more just a tiny bit more gonna throw a curved line over here and that's gonna be the top of that visor section that kind of window that he looks out of his spacesuit gonna throw a curve at the front of that lens and the reason I want to do that is you know because that's what he has curve in the back here and then obviously another curve here. This is actually pretty straight at the top, but normally I curve this a little bit more, a little bit more. So if I was to look at just this, sh just that shape, that looks like a pillow to me. I always say that. It just remind. It looks like a pillow or something. I don't know. Um, so you're gonna find I'm gonna compare shapes a lot to like everyday items, and I, what I think it does is I think it helps you memorize the shape more, so you can draw it later. You're like, oh, the, what does the window look like? Oh, like a pillow. Okay, it's like a bloated rectangle or something. Uh, I'm going to go straight down here, pull down, and then down some more. So essentially you're doing the stomach area, and you can just, I, I kind of made a little turn there, but you don't have to. You can go straight down. It's really just the stomach in the front of his leg. Um, also, don't forget, uh, you know, if you like to learn a little bit about drawing every single day, uh, hit that subscribe button right now. I post videos the whole week. So Monday through Friday, I post three videos per day and they're all beginner videos and they're on every single topic under the sun. I have an Among Us playlist. You can check that out, I'll link it. There's tons of Among Us drawings. There's tons of drawings on everything. And I'm continuously adding to this, um, this huge, huge library. Uh, it's it's amazing, I think. It's so, it's so good. Um, but anyways, yeah. If you find my work to be worth your time, please consider subscribing. As far as from my end, it helps out for the algorithm and I can keep track of people. Um, it just makes more sense from my uh, angle as well. Uh, and it's completely free, so there's no downside in any way. So uh, yeah, just wanted to announce that. Alrighty, so I'm gonna pull down over here, curve, and I'm gonna pull all the way down his back. All the way down the back. Pulling inward, inward here, inward here, up, and a lower portion of his body, and I'm going to uh, wrap his leg back up here as well to kind of tie, tie it together. So remember, everything you're doing right here, it doesn't have to be a carbon copy of what I'm doing. What you want is you want the same impression. So yours could be a little bit taller, a little bit shorter, maybe a little bit fatter. Um, doesn't really matter, you know? Like even if I, whenever I redraw it, it's a little bit different. Um, so you're just looking for the impression of it, right? Like the, like the first look, you're like, okay, cool. That's like an Among Us character. That, that's a crewmate without a backpack right now, so far. Uh, so think about from here to here, these two lines. And I think about what's center to that. And in my mind's eye, I'm going to go back here and I'm going to mark it there. And that's going to be where the top of his backpack is going to be. And then down here on his lower body, I'm going to mark the bottom portion of that backpack. After that, I'm going to connect these two. And that to me looks like a loaf of bread on his back. I always say that. I always say that. A loaf of bread. Simple, simple shapes. I was thinking of simple shapes, the simple things. 
Also, if you want to be more hardcore about drawing and you're like, I'm going to be an artist and all that stuff, like hardcore, hardcore, um, I have hour-long video lessons on drawing people, on drawing manga, on drawing dragons, on drawing perspective. All this stuff is on my Skillshare. The catch is you have to go look for it in the description of this video. I put a bunch of links. So <laughs> the Skillshare one, when you sign up for that, um, it gives you two months free. So you get to see literally every huge lesson I have completely for free for two months. It's uh, like a big, big, big deal. Uh, but again, that's only people that really want to get like over the top hardcore with it. Um, I'm going to draw a straight line over here. It's going to be the, obviously the line for the balloon. Line, a little bit, little tiny line across. And I'm going to pull up a little bit and close that off. So it's a bit of like a square, but the square at the top is a little bit smaller than the, the bottom part of the square. Drawing a circle, or you could, an oval will work as well. See, mine's a little bit longer top to bottom than it is right to left. But it could be a circle, you know? I've seen it drawn completely as a circle. And then I'm going to draw curve line here. Curve line here. I guess that represents like the it's tied to the head or something. So next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to thicken the lines everywhere. I'm going to just thicken them out. And the reason I want to do that is because the I want it to match the animation in the game. In the game, all the lines are super thick. So I want to make it uh, a little bit thicker. I just couldn't get that with one stroke. Uh, while I'm doing that, I will talk to you. Hi, how's your day? Uh, I've had this channel for six years. I love it. It's amazing. It is something I wake up and I think about. And when I go to sleep, I think about ideas for it. Uh, even on the weekend when I'm not posting videos, I am always organizing playlists and just kind of working out what I'm going to draw in the next week, uh, going through comments. Um, always, always thinking about this channel. Uh, ever since the, you know, the craziness of this year, I've had a lot of time to be at home. So like, I've really pushed myself, uh, you know, not even push myself. I just kind of like, it just, it just is. I'm just working on it a lot. It's not hard. The only hard part I find is the editing. When I have to edit the video and I have to edit the description, that tends to be a little bit of a, of hard. Um, <laughs> uh, but yeah, there's one thing you can do to make that easier. Uh, it's very similar to like, uh, you know, tipping a waiter for service. Uh, except with a waiter, uh, you know, that's actual money. Uh, this one is just your time. The thing you can do to help the channel, if you would like, would be to share a video. Share it anywhere. Share it with a, like a friend. Share it on Facebook or Twitter or, or Reddit or uh, Pinterest. Anytime you share it, there's this gigantic boost of positive energy that comes right back at this channel. There's literally like nice people in the comments and it just makes my day. And it, it literally, like I'm, I'm in a great mood the rest of the day when that stuff happens. And it's really big. I know you think it might not matter when you share it. It really matters. Like it's very obvious when I look through the analytics, like, okay, somebody shared it. I could tell there's like a big boom, um, but yeah. That is it. Thank you so much. Uh, you've been amazing. If you got to this point, please say hi to me in the comment section and I will know that you actually got to the very end of the video, uh, very end of the lesson. Thank you so much. I'll see you next time. Uh, this has been Easy Pictures to Draw and I'll see you soon.